Hey everyone, um, you're probably waiting on me to, to state my opinion on the 2024 applied maths exam, and honest to god, it was an absolute travesty in my opinion. Um, I really did not like this paper, and I'm going to give my full review on it. Uh, so question one was probably the finest of all the questions, just some standard matrix multiplication, and then utilizing a minimum spanning tree algorithm to find a minimum spanning tree. And then just, again, really some standard stuff with MSTs. And then they chuck a fucking linear motion question here for some reason. Um, I really don't know why. I, I know they're trying to encompass the entire course again, but, like, Jesus Christ, at least try to make the, the question linked. Like, like well, it's, it's so random, but okay. Question two, another fine one. Just about um, forces, really. And then we have a, a double poly. So, honestly, part or question two even, um, fairly okay if you worked on um, practicing Newton's laws. Then we get the first of two, as I remember, one two, and this answers the functions question. So this one regarding integration by parts, and which is a fairly standard one. And then they chuck collision in for some reason. So I don't know why they did that, but sure, I guess. But a, a fairly nice part two there. Now, question four. Jesus Christ, why do they have to make a circular motion question super complicated for no reason? Um, and the amount of parts they included, I think this question had six parts in it, and they included circular motion, and again, another differential equations question. So pretty much you had to answer at least one differential equation in, in the exam. You, you could not avoid them. Um, I guess one, one thing here is to write it with V1. So you'd have to actually use the, the one from part three. Um, in here as well, so it's a bit weird. Question five, a nice direct uh, collisions question, it's fine enough. Uh, and then this ultra really ridiculous linear motion question again. Um, this one took me genuinely about 20 minutes to figure out because it required a lot of sort of messing about with the formulas and just spotting the, this capital T equals 61 um, relation, which is a bit odd. Question six, uh, a fairly okay first order difference equation. Um, I thought it was pretty okay. Again, it's a weirdly divisive one. Uh, and obviously being careful with 2029 here, considering 2022 in this question was P0. But then this question came up like, like what? Huh? I'm so confused. Like, I'm just going to leave it because this question was stupid. Question seven, standard projectile question to start off. It was very nice. And then this happened. This, see, I'm even confused just thinking about it because this question, it included friction in a circle for the first time since literally the exam that was created when I was born. So the, the, everyone that did applied maths during my lifetime didn't have to come across friction in a circle until now. Like, I don't even know. Question eight, some very standard dynamic programming. Uh, it wasn't in a table, thank God. It was just a sign of one on a graph. And then some dimensional analysis. So honestly, question one and question eight were fine. Uh, question nine was somewhat okay. It was manageable enough, but you ended up getting some absolutely ginormous number for this. I think I got about 1.7 tons left, which was just utterly ridiculous. And I think I screwed something up. Uh, and question 10 was activity networks, which is okay. Activity networks aren't my favorite, but they're, they're, they're manageable. And then this weird, um, they had to throw another differential equation in here. Like, it's just utterly ridiculous how many differential equations you got to do. Honestly, the difficulty of this paper, it, it, it was just an utterly stupid paper, especially considering we had to do eight questions in two and a half hours, which is, for one, almost impossible for some people. I barely got eight questions done. Like, I was scribbling down stuff for one of the questions, and I only saw the other questions literally before, because the paper dropped yesterday online. I looked at the questions and was like, okay, they're, they're, they're okay. I just couldn't get to them, because this paper was just utterly ridiculous. Like, honestly, the SEC... I, I literally don't even know. The SEC is completely stupid. The exam's ridiculous, and it definitely uh, needs another reform.
within the next year or so.